Two traffickers have been caught trying to sell seven girls. Thankfully, the police were able to rescue them. The traffickers, Dawa Dorji and Dawa Tamang of Sindhupalchuk, were caught in the act. The girls came from the regions of Sindhupalchuk and Gorkha. The smugglers were trying to get the girls to India, where they would be sold. The girls went with the smugglers because they were promised jobs in India and other countries. Of course, these were lies, and the girls were unknowingly being sold as slave prostitutes. Mr. Tom Karki, chief of the Kathmandu police, explained about the rescue of the girls. Police said due to strict checking of buses, seven girls were saved from selling. The girls were promised that they would earn 300 to 350 dollars per month. After their rescue, the girls were sent to mighty Nepal. In India, Indian officers also sent 10 girls back to Nepal after finding them in an Indian hotel where they were after having been sold. With the help of the Central Investigation Bureau, they caught two traffickers named Sujil Rai and Rajbabu Shrestha. After returning to Nepal, the girls realized they'd risk their lives to go and work abroad. These rescues and interception of trafficked girls are very rare. Each year, 10,000 to 20,000 young girls are sold from Nepal to India and are not rescued. Many of these girls will never return home. I was studying in class before I quit my school. I used to do household and farming jobs. I'd never heard about girls being trafficked to Delhi, but I learned about this later. Now I know. In one situation, a neighbor in a village created a fake marriage to Tara's daughter. Instead of a marriage, he later sold her to a Delhi brothel house. She asked the women there, Where are the people who brought me here? The woman replied, They left you here because they sold you to us. They didn't go there willingly. They were sold. About 20 years ago, a girl named Ramita was sold by traffickers to a brothel in Mumbai, India. They drugged her, putting a drug into her drink. At that time, her son was one and a half years old. Many friends in my village insisted I go abroad, as many other women were already there. I agreed and got a passport. The human trafficking broker made the visa to allow me to go to any country. At 12 p.m. I was sent to go to work. A few men looked at me oddly. I knew they had bad intentions. I screamed and tried to run upstairs to my room. But the madam hit me, saying, Why did you come upstairs? Not only me, but many sisters have also been beaten up. Their life is miserable. Sita went to Malaysia with hopes of working in a hotel or a school. But after arriving at the Malaysian airport, she knew the broker had lied to her. She was taken and forced to work as a domestic worker, where she was physically and mentally tortured. Brokers are the people who sell people's sisters, mothers, and brothers by enticing them with good jobs and money. Nowadays, human trafficking has become a very critical issue. Victims of human trafficking lose their freedom, becoming slaves who are then exploited and often die in bondage. Why do they go? They're trying to escape gender discrimination. They have little, if any, money and are socially backward people. They are victims of violence in their home or village. They are ignorant of what will happen to them. Extreme poverty at home. In most cases, we find they're sold into slavery by people they know, even family members. They trust that these people are helping them find a better life or more comfortable life. Many Nepalese are at risk of human trafficking and are illegally being taken abroad. In Nepal, sadly, many people see the human trafficking business as a type of entertainment. 
people are hiding the human trafficking issue. Many of these girls start their jobs in a restaurant, and later on they're forced into hard labor and are forced to sell their body. According to the Women, Children, and Social Welfare Ministry, there are more than 30,000 to 40,000 girls and women who work as prostitutes in Nepal. Why do we care about human trafficking? This is a national tragedy for the country of Nepal. When many of those girls who were sold to brothels return home, their parents will not allow them to come home because of the parents' belief in karma. Having no place to go, sometimes those girls end up in the hands of human traffickers again. What we do and why. We are Children Rescue Mission. Our goal is to fight against human trafficking by providing basic needs and education for children so they can stay home, all while sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Most of the children we support are orphan, and their situation is unthinkable. We believe providing for the children's basic needs and awareness against human trafficking are very important remedies. We spread the awareness against human trafficking through documentary video presentations and leaflets in the remote villages where illiteracy is as high as 90%. If the families are extremely poor, Children Rescue Mission provides tools and resources to local men and women to maintain a sustainable business and income for their families. We have launched goat, cart, and chicken projects. In Nepal, women are less valuable economically than men and less likely to find work. Parents may sell a daughter under the lie that the buyer or slave trader can get her work and that she even might be able to send money to her family. Lack of education and unawareness is the other reason why poor girls are sold into human trafficking. To learn more about what you can do or join the movement and partner with us, just visit childrenrescuemission.org. If you can help us financially, just click Donate. The mailing address is Post Office Box 492947, Redding, California, 96049. Telephone 530-941-8588. Email us at info at org. Again, the website, org.